we have our parametric equations here. We can go ahead and start graphing them, getting some outlines here to get an idea of what our rectangular equation will look like. So starting off for x, we put in 0, we get 2. And then the square root of 0 is 0. We put in um, 2, 4, 2. We get 4 for x, and we get square root of 2 for y. We put in, oh, let's see here. Let's put in 4. We get 6 for x, and we get 2 for y. So we get something that's going to look like this. OK. So in order to find uh, the rectangular um, equation, we can go ahead and substitute y in with this equation. So x is equal to the square root of y. Um, oops. Actually, uh, so since it's the square root, or y, or actually uh, t is equal to y squared. So we get uh, y squared plus 2, uh, but actually in this case, um, actually scratch that, uh, since I'm already a minute and a half, I don't want to go back through this whole problem. Actually what we're going to do is we'll substitute x in, so for x, because we could get two potential answers there, uh, we get t is equal to x minus 2, substitute this in for our rectangular equation, we get y is equal to the square root of um, x minus 2. So this is our rectangular equation, and there's our graph.